Hello and welcome. You're here with me, Charlie Tamalo, and we're playing DCS. We are um, AV8B Harrier, and we are going to be firing Mavericks, infrared Mavericks. Um, and I'm going to show you three different ways of firing these um, with increasing complexity, but with increasing accuracy. So let's pop inside. So here's the scenario. We are running in on this target here. Let's give it just a little bit, see a bit better. So there's a group of T-55s and trucks in this edge of this forest area about to push an attack. So we've been ordered in and we want to hit these guys. So for this first scenario, it doesn't matter about accuracy. I'm, I'm not caring about if I'm hitting T-55s or if I'm hitting trucks. All I want to do is get four rockets off as fast as I can, get back to base, rearm, refuel, come back in again. For this though, we're going to, um, if you notice on the outside view, we have a T-pod, targeting pod. I'm not going to use it for this first run in. We're going to use just the Maverick heads, so I will unpause and let's get things ready. In the aircraft mode, stores, and arm the infrared Mavericks. You can see up in the HUD, it says infrared Maverick, so we're, we're ready to go with that one. What we'll do is uh, let's talk about the keys that we need. Adjust control. So we are going to need to uncage, uncage the Mavericks. So this uh, makes the, the seeker head kind of move around for us. We're also going to need to sensor select forwards. And then what that does is it then makes the Maverick the active um, seeker mode, if that makes sense. So we, we unlock it and then we can then get ready to move it around. And then the next key is our TDC forwards, backwards, left and right. And with that, we're gonna move the seeker head around and that'll make sense when we actually do it on there. Not gonna worry about any lock buttons. We're gonna let the computer do all the locking itself. And we'll show you how it does. Um, I have waypoint two set, which is in the area of the. Um, it's I think it's here. Is where I've actually said it in the middle of the forest. So we will actually have to find the targets ourselves. And we have the because we have the infrared maverick set and no waypoints done. We have this little box here. Uh, this little circle, sorry, inside the uh, pipper. If I sensor select forwards now. Sorry, I need to uncage first. There we go, and then sensor select forwards. So we've got this. I've got this. If I move my TDC keys now, that's moving this box. So you can either, when you're moving it, so look with this one to get it in the area, and then look at the DDI, and then you can see what's going to kind of get a finer tune on it. There's also a field of view button, which you can't quite see here. Just move this so field of view. If you click on that, you can then see it a little bit closer. So I'm looking for the forest. So let's get it lined up up here. So it's about there. And then I can look in here. I can see, ah look, here's the forest, and there are all those tanks and trucks on the outside. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and lock onto a target on this side, and then move across and go one, two, three, four. Um, if you were trying to hit all four in this area, for example, what you may find is that you lock onto the same target four times, and you may waste your missiles. If you also look at the bottom of the trees, they're quite bright. Sometimes um, the Maverick will lock onto a base of a tree. So we're not always going to get four hits guaranteed with this one, but it's, uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. So I'm not not using the teapod, just using this. Um, and what I'm going to do is cut the power a little because we're going to do it to drive. Stop her whining. Um, and what will happen is this box will turn into a really small box when it gets a lock. And what we'll see on here is a solid white line going from top to bottom, and then we'll see the little tank or whatever on the inside. So I'm kind of just focusing, and every time I let go. It's trying to get a lock. So you may see it, it jumps from moving and let go, and it jumps because it's trying to find something. And what we're also getting, if you notice these little flashing bees coming, there's one there. Um, as we get closer, there'll be more. These are kind of like um, solid ground returns. We can use those. If we aim this dot at the bottom of a V, we're more likely to get a lock. So we're at eight miles now. Should start getting locks. Okay, so that's locked, but if I look, it's that's not, if I look here, it's locked, so I have a solid line, but it's it's on something at the back of the trees. So I would then break that lock and try and pick one of those ones at the front. Let's try and go down there a bit. There we go, that's a good lock. So I just fire, and then I uncage the next Maverick, set to select forward, move the box around. Let's go to the far left, somewhere around there maybe. Just trying to let it lock. There we go, that's a lock. Fire Maverick. Uncage. Sensor select boards. 
move it around. Let's go more for the right hand side. There maybe. That looks good. Fire Maverick. Uncage. Sensor like boards. And we got these little V's. Let's try and name at the bottom of a V that's flashing on and off. That should lock as well. There we go. That's it. No, that's not. Oh, no, that is good luck. I uh, should go on that one. There we go. And off we go. So, first Maverick's already hit. We got a truck. Let's uh, have a look and see what else we get. Boom. There we go. So I'm not kill myself. And if we have a look at the score. Uh, to dead. So we killed one gas 66 and three T55, so that was quite lucky. We got three high value targets and one low value target. So that was that was using just the Maverick Seeker head to do it. And just to run through that procedure again, we made sure we were on air to ground mode. We selected the Mavericks. We kind of pointed in the right area. We then uncaged the Maverick. And then we sensor selected forwards to make the Maverick boxed up here. And then used the TDC buttons to move around. And we just let it lock by itself. spawned in again in a new Harrier with four Mavericks and the targeting pod again. This time, when I hit the targets, what I want to do is I want to guarantee or well, improve my chances of making sure I hit four T55s uh, rather than hitting the trucks. So for this, I'm going to use the targeting pod. So we'll unpause and we'll get set up. So master arm on, air to ground on. And make sure I'm on waypoint two, which is the waypoint I have for near the forest. And I'm going to select on the map here Desig, and what that will do is when I turn the target pod on in a second, it will point it in that kind of area. So, target pod is going to go on here, it's on standby at the moment. Turn it on, it's kind of pointing in the right area. Prefer to fly, we'll use FLIR mode. And at the bottom here, we've got a wide, and if I hit that, it goes narrow. And here we can see that we're quite far away, we can see the edge of the forest, we can see some tanks. Now, the great thing about this is it's got a ridiculous zoom. I have these bounds on my keyboard, so you might not see my cursor over them, but let's zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to zoom in. Look at this. We're miles away, and we can see these, and I'm still not at full zoom. Now, if you notice, the, it, the, when I'm moving the, my TDC moving keys, it's jumping around massively. It's because I'm in INS mode. If I sensor select um, depress twice, it changes it to T-pod mode, and then it makes it actually much more easier to use. And all I'm going to do is put it over a tank. And I prefer to use, this is area track, I prefer to use spot track, just to pick up there with that tank. Still 90 miles out, and what I'm going to do as well, actually, is over here, let's see what the other targets are, so there's one there, there's one there, so actually it makes sense, let's target this one first, we might be able to target this one, target the next one, and target the next one type thing. There is a method I'll show you next, that's um, going to make this even more complicated, but uh, much more... Uh, Slick at killing four targets quickly. Let's go to the stores page. Select the Mavericks. Now the procedure is very similar to the one we've used before. We're going to uncage the Maverick. We're going to sensor select forwards. And what that does when we uncage the Maverick, it will automatically uncage pointing at the teapot. So if I uncage now, the teapot has vanished. And it's come up to this side of the screen. And this is now the Maverick's even head. We can zoom in and we can see that dot in the middle is is the target but it's not a solid line so we don't have a full lock yet caution caution come down a little bit turn off the warnings so i'm going to sensor select forwards and we have the box up here to say that the maverick is now in the live mode i could move my cursors around and that'll move the maverick but what i'm going to do is tdc to press when i get a bit closer and that will then lock the maverick and we'll see that locking we'll get a line straight through here uh, and then we can fire i'm just going to fire one missile this time and then come out and do, try and do two in a single pass because it's a little bit fiddly what we're going to have to do after this missile launch. So we're at 7.3 miles so we, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to lock onto this guy so I'm going to push TDC to press now so it's not sensor to press it's TDC to press and then we see the line down here has solid so we can fire. Off goes a rocket. Let's climb away. 
So this should be going for a T55 tank and not an expensive T55 and not a cheap truck. do the same again, but we're going to try and fire two missiles in a single pass, and it's going to cause a little bit of a little bit of budding present. Um, but with a bit of practice and an ideal run-in, you can get four targets off in a single pass. It's just really tricky. The main problem is the way that when you make the Maverick, when you uncage the Maverick, um, it it takes over the teapot page, which is annoying. So we'll go back out again. If you could keep the teapot page up and have the Maverick page up at the same time, if someone knows how to do that, please let me know. It would make things a lot, a lot easier. Let's get set up then. So the teapot, I prefer to have my teapot on this page. So let's select the teapot, bring the Maverick up on this side. It should still be pointing where we wanted it before. If you notice, it's gone back into INS mode. I'm going to sensor select to press twice and that puts it in teapot mode. You can't see anything at the moment because it's actually looking at the side of my plane. So let's, there we go, there's our burning tank. So I'm going to push N art, which is narrow, let's go to wide, we can see our tanks. So we're going to try and hit these two this time. I'm going to move across. And there you go, because I'm in point track, it selects and puts a little box around it, which is quite nice. We're at 10 miles out, that should be good enough for a run in make the Maverick live. So same procedure as before, going to uncage the Maverick, sensor select forwards, and then TDC depress to make it lock. Once the Maverick is fired, I then need to get this teapot up as fast as I can, move it across to the next target, get the Maverick lined up again, and then do the whole procedure. So it's a little bit fiddly, but we should be able to do it. So don't need to hit 330. This is my current heading. This is the target heading. If you're going to uncage a Maverick, generally you want about 40 degrees, no more than 40 degrees between the two, otherwise it has a bit of a problem. So here we go. Let's cut the power a little. Try not to kill ourselves. Now, uncage my Maverick. We're going to sensor select forwards. So now we're uncaged with a box. Field of view. We're a little at 7 miles should get a lock if I hit TDC to press, so let's try that now. Yep, we've got a lock. Now if we look, it's locked onto the truck. So I'm going to use the cursor keys, there we go, and get a better lock. There we go. Fire. Then we need to move quickly and bring up the teapot. I'm going to... Oh. Sensor select twice to make it the active sensor. Come across to the tank. Oh, that's the one we're going to rock it, so let's go for this one. Okay, select the Mavericks all the time. We're diving here. Uncage the Maverick. Sensor select forwards. Hit um, TDC to press. Fine. Climb away. So we killed the T55. First one. And this is going to kill the last one. Back out again in the Harrier. Uh, we're going to go for a different uh, waypoint. So I'm going to go for waypoint one. I'm going to show you the final method, the method I prefer to use, which is we're going to use target of opportunities to and the T-Bod to pick our four best targets that we want from miles away. So I'm going to the time, um, and then we're going to just toggle between those different target waypoints and fire the Mavericks, kind of almost blind. We need an extra key. Let's have a look at that one this one here, WP increment. And what that does is once we've selected the four targets, we're going to go back to target number one. And then once we've fired, we use this to go waypoint one or target point one, target point two, target point three, target four. It's better than trying to fiddle around with it on um, on anything else. So I've got my keyboard um, and I also have it on my joystick. Let's bring up all the stuff as we do before. It's ready, that sounds good. Um, you could just lock it using the um, waypoint bits. Actually, you can be the target pod. I don't have to need a waypoint. Go to our favorite flow mode. Zoom in. Zoom in a bit. 
so we've got four different targets here so you can see clearly when I'm switching between them and I've got the first one selected so you pick your highest threat one you don't have to go like left or right or right to left or anything just the highest threat I guess but I'm going to go left or right just to show you and once I've got it selected I'm happy I'm going to hit the target of opportunity it automatically comes up with the number one for me enter move across to the next one target of opportunity number two enter So those are now stored. And what I can do is if I go this seriously, whoever designed this set of buttons to be there. Come to here, come to the map, to come to the map so we can see. There we go. Um, we're currently on waypoint one, but if I scroll down through the waypoints now, so it's a terrible angle. See it's going one, two, three, four. And if I then hit Desig, so we're looking at the little armored car at the end, hit Desig, it now jumps back to the SA8. So what I can do is bring up the Mavericks as normal. So I'm gonna uncage, sensor select forward, TDC to press, fire the rocket when I'm happy, then I'm gonna push that new waypoint increment button. It will automatically jump to the next vehicle, the um the rocket launcher thing, artillery. Won't see it on this screen, but I'm gonna trust that it's right, and then I'm gonna do the whole procedure again. Uncage, sensor select, DDC, fire, next waypoint, and do that at time after time until we get all four off. So it's, uh, caution, caution. Decline to give the Mavericks some speed. Let's see how we go. Hopefully, we'll get four hits. What sometimes happens is that the Maverick might lock onto the hottest thing um, rather than the, the actual target. These are quite close to each other, which is. Uh, we might get three out of four kills, but we should get hopefully four out of four. I'm going to uncage the Maverick now. And uh, sensors select boards. I guess we could do field where I think it keeps it on the full one for the next one. So we can see it's got the first target already selected. And we'll see the little cross in front of us. It should, that little box will jump around as we uh, it should kind of go from left to right as we move through the waypoints. Dying down. Gonna wait till about eight miles. I have the Maverick uncaged and selected as the sensor. Okay, eight miles. We've got a lock. By the Maverick. Next waypoint. You can see it move ever so slightly. Uncage it. Sensor select ports. Enter to lock. Next waypoint, again it moved a little bit. Uncage the Maverick, sensor select forwards, do the lock, fire, final waypoint, uncage the Maverick, sensor select forwards, force it to lock, and fire. Let's see how we're doing. Maverick's coming in now. Like so, so that's going for number one, definitely. That's going for number two. He's going for number three. Three. Four. There we go. Four Mavericks. Four kills. Much, much easier than doing all of that um, T-Boy messing around. So hopefully that's been of some help. Um, those three different ways of firing the Maverick. So there's the, the down and dirty just using the seeker head, which is great for if you don't really care what you hit, you just need to hit something. You've got the teapot method, which is fiddly, but it, you know if, you're, if, you're, if there is a high priority target that you have to hit, I would definitely just use the single teapot method. And then you've got the bullet set with the target of opportunity mode. If you have any questions or any comments, please write down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, hope to see you in the skies. Stay safe. Happy hunting.